Macca's guides. <laughs> Hey guys, Mac here with a video for Control, and in this video I'm going to showcase all of the weapons and the abilities in the game. There's actually technically only one weapon, but it can take several different forms, which is a very cool and unique system. And you can see all of those forms on screen. I'm going to kind of slowly scroll through them so you can kind of read them. I will show how each weapon works and talk about it a little bit, and then show it in a little bit of gameplay, and then I'll also show all of the abilities in the game in action at the end of the video. As you progress through the game, you'll be unlocking different types of crafting materials that you'll pick off of enemies. Obviously, the harder the enemies and the later on in the game you are, the better those crafting materials. You can then use those materials and the currency, which is known as Source, in order to buy these new weapons or buy upgrades for the weapons you already have. And then you can also attach mods to every weapon in order to either do more headshot damage and other things like that we will get into more specifics. But we'll start off with the gun known as the Grip. This is the first gun that you will basically have, and it works very similarly to what you would imagine a pistol would work like. You can see all the animations here when it comes out. You can see that each gun has a different reticle. You can also see that the energy bar at the bottom uh, goes based off of your ammo, and the energy bar can change based on your personal mods and your weapon mods, so it is possible to get more shots out of a clip and do more damage with a clip, but I kind of left everything as a basic, just so you can get a feel for how all of the weapons perform when given the same set of circumstances on the same kind of level, so that it's an even playing field. This weapon is a great all-around weapon. It can do massive damage if you get a headshot, but aiming those headshots can be a little bit difficult in certain scenarios. Luckily, again, workhorse all the way around. It's great at medium to long range, even short range. Uh, you can get it nice and close and uh, work a melee in if you need it. And uh, yeah, the grip. Overall, pretty cool weapon, and we will now move on. Next up, we'll talk about the Shatter, which is a shotgun slash scatter shot. And it obviously is going to be really good at close range. It's going to be good at crowd control because there's a lot of bullet spread. But you're not going to get a lot of distance. So keep that in mind. You can also put on weapon mods in order to decrease the amount of bullet spread or increase the amount of pellets that are inside of your shot. So you can kind of uh, do more damage that way as well. Next we have the Spin, which is more or less an SMG with a high rate of fire, best used in controlled bursts if you want to remain accurate. I use this gun throughout most of my journey through the game, as I found it basically just completely devours most enemies. It also has the ability to put specific weapon mods onto it that allow you to increase the rate of fire. Increasing the rate of fire is a double-edged sword. You'll kill enemies faster, but it'll also be a lot harder to aim with, so keep that in mind. Uh, this is a great medium to short-range weapon, but it also staggers enemies quite a bit. And obviously, in the gameplay here, I'm just showing you guys the weapons. What you would be doing while reloading is using your kind of abilities and superpowers. So you wouldn't be kind of like running around waiting for your ammo to recharge as you see on screen. Next up, we have the Pierce Weapon, which is a precise charged shot. It can also penetrate the armor of your enemies and is basically infinitely accurate at any range. 
So if you're looking for long range, if you're looking to take down a boss with a lot of armor, if you're looking to do a lot of damage really quickly, this gun is incredibly useful at doing so. The two weapon mods specific to this gun allow you to zoom in further, or you also have the option of doing more damage while aiming down sight. Obviously, you can keep this one in your back pocket at any point in the game if you need to take down a boss or someone with a ton of health that just isn't going down. It's also pretty good at shooting enemies out of the sky if they are kind of flying around. final weapon you'll see here is called the charge and the charge is basically a mini grenade launcher and the weapon mod specific to this gun just allows you to have the projectile speed go faster in theory this weapon would be great but i personally haven't found too many good uses for it hitting enemies with it is quite difficult and it often doesn't do a lot of damage it is very disorienting because it does so much to the world around you that it's kind of hard to like see the enemies and whatnot it's a very fun and cool weapon to use i just don't know uh if i've personally found out how to make it the best it can be Next, we're going to talk about abilities which you unlock as you progress through the game or defeat certain kind of missions or side missions. And there's also an ability tree you can go into and use ability points to upgrade your abilities in whatever way you deem fit. Obviously, you'll want to adjust your skill tree or ability tree to your play style. All right, so next up, we're going to go through abilities. The first ability you'll unlock in the game is melee. This one works exactly how you would expect it. You will then learn what I think is the best ability in the game, and that is Launch. Especially if you upgrade Launch, it is incredibly useful. It allows you to pick up objects with your mind control and just fling them at enemies. It can be basically a one-hit kill for most enemy types, and it can get you out of some really sticky situations very quickly. Another ability you'll unlock is Evade. This basically just allows you to dash. I'm just going to be showing it in terms of how you would run around and dash, but obviously feel free to use this during combat in order to get away from enemies when you need to. Another ability you can unlock is the shield ability, which allows you to pick up items and form a shield in front of you. I basically didn't use this ability at all. I don't really know why you'd want to use it. You end up just kind of, uh, you know, giving your back to any enemies behind you. And you're using your uh, ability meter anyways to pull up the shield. So why wouldn't you just use your ability meter for something more aggressive? But it's there if you want it. Next up, one of my favorite ways to start a fight is with the Seize ability. What you want to do is just damage an enemy to about 20% or less health and basically make them become a friendly person and fight for you, which is exceptionally useful in large fights. They're not great in terms of doing damage, but they are very good in terms of getting the attention of the enemies that would be shooting you otherwise. Last but not least is the ability to levitate. It is as it sounds. You can basically float. It's not a full flight, but you can kind of go up to a certain height 
and then float you will only have a certain duration for this before you fall and you can catch your fall by pressing a as you're falling to make sure you glide down slowly thank you guys so much for watching the video i hope it was helpful make sure to comment like subscribe if you want to see more videos special thanks to everyone on patreon for supporting the show shout out to double o and hopefully i see you guys in the next one peace